I'm Ariana here, Grom Som, and I'm with my kind of, sort of friend, Chris Ramel. Sort of friend. Sort of friend. We're going to act like we like each other for this segment. A little too close for comfort. <laughs> but we really want to get on board with this awesome segment that's going to teach us about why it's important to actually polish wine glasses. So Chris, why is it important? Well, why is it important? Well, it's so important for restaurant use. Let's call it essential for restaurant use. Absolutely, without like, a doubt. If you're in a restaurant that has a wine program that doesn't polish their glasses, you should probably know that that's some indication of them treating the rest of the wine program like that, right? Mm -hmm. At home, it's a different story. Wine glass, is that necessary 100% to polish it? Probably, Probably not. not. Probably not. But I've seen people drink wine glass wine out of like plastic cups and have just the amount of enjoyment. Hey, red solo cup, please fill me up, right? But for the sake of our <laughs> the new podcast, don't we want to actually explore what is good wine and what are good wine practices? So unfortunately, it's socially unacceptable to swig the wine directly out of the bottle. So as the, much as we already do that on no, the No, we don't. Time. We don't. It's very, we keep it very classy here. But the glass is really the only vessel that we have, right? Mm -hmm. So why why polish a glass for home use? Well, make it nice. Make Just it nice. Make it look Hashtag pretty. make it nice. Make even, it pretty. Even if you're not doing it, let's say we're not hosting big parties this year, Thanksgiving, Christmas. Even if you're doing it, like for me, for one other person in my household, doesn't it feel better if like... For, right. If you're having a date night, don't you want to show that person that you love them and you're going to take the time to polish that glass, make sure it's pretty, but also make sure it smells good, it's looking nice, no marks, no residue, yep. no soap, anything yep. of that sort, right? It could be oily too, right? So, I mean, at the very base level because it looks pretty, but also like to get that chemical off that you get, because, you know, we have a steam bucket here in front of us, and this is how we do it in the restaurant, right? Absolutely. So... In restaurant use, we typically will use a steam bucket and that condensation will actually help us to clean the glass itself. But, you know, if you're washing glasses right at home, you're typically going to wash them and they'll be already a little bit damp. Mm -hmm. So you can go ahead and polish them as is right after that. When's the last time you steamed at home? Right? Um, Yesterday. Okay, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just going to get right in here and do this. And we have a couple different, um, me and Chris are both going to be using our Redel polishing rags. This is just for us, a sommelier go-to, but I also have for restaurant use, a very classic serviette, but feel free to use whatever wine, we call them rags, that are clean and also lint-free if possible. Tip number one, always use a clean rag, a clean-ish rag, you know? You don't clean to whatever your degree of clean is. So this is important. I always start off with a corner of the wine rag right here and attach it to the base of the bowl, right? Let this be your anchor. This is. This is the thing that's going to hold you to it, be your guide. I then take the other corner, the opposite end, stuff it in the wine glass, and just turn. So you see that my hands are never, ever nakedly touching the bowl, touching any part of the glass. So just like that. And if you want to get really weird, like, I've done this enough times to know that the lip is the most important thing, so I have sort of like my thumb at this angle, like it looks like really weird and like claw-like, but it really does help with the lip. I also like to make sure that I give it a nice quick peek right mm -hmm. up to the light to make sure that there's no marks that I missed. Maybe even if you're having a quick smell, just to make sure that you're not leaving any funky residue from your cloth or maybe from your detergent. Absolutely. Once you're done with this, this step, remember use your anchor, right? This is always your anchor. You're always going to keep that corner on the glass. Let it all hang out. Huh. And uh, with that same opposite end of the He's corner, not really my friend, guys. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to just touch up the base. You always got to make sure every single thing is spotless, right? If we take the time to polish your glass, why not do it correctly? And make sure they're dry most of all, especially for home use. You don't want a lot of wet glasses going back into your cabinet. Last thing and probably most overlooked thing. Ostensibly, this is the only thing that your hands are going to be touching, right? The stem. Just give it a little quick wipe. And pro tip. When you're ready to place the wine glass on the table, let's see if the boom mics pick it up. But always have your pinky Pinkies up, guys. on the base. So that's the very first thing that's touching. So even if it's on glass, hopefully you won't hear a sound. Like you said, we're classy on Chuck Fury Uncorked. So that's our segment. We hope that you can help learn to polish glasses and why it's important. Cheers. Cheers.